Real numbers can be written in many different ways, fractions, percents, and decimals to name a few. Fractions usually represent partial numbers, such as one half of a unit, but they can also represent whole numbers. For example, four over one means four of one unit. The top part of a fraction is called the numerator, and the bottom of a fraction is called the denominator. You can remember this with the mnemonic denominator is down. And remember, the fraction bar is just another way to write division. Percentages usually represent part of a whole, but can represent larger values. 40%, for example, represents four out of 10, or 40 out of 100 parts of one unit. On the other hand, 200% means there are two whole units. Decimals are numbers less than one. They are displayed using place values and the powers of 10. Usually, we first learn about decimal fractions, which are fractions with denominators that are powers of 10. For example, 1 tenth is the same thing as 0 0.1. When turning a fraction into a decimal, pay attention to the order. You'll divide the numerator by the denominator. For example, 2 thirds becomes 2 divided by 3, which equals the repeating decimal 0 0.66. If we accidentally did this in reverse order, a calculator would give us the terminating decimal, 1.5. It is important to realize that 2 thirds means there are two out of three total parts. So 2 thirds should be less than one. To convert a decimal into a percent, move the decimal place twice to the right by multiplying the number by 100, then write the percent symbol at the end. Let's look at some example conversions. What does 0.25 express as a percentage? Well, you just need to move the decimal place two places to the right and add a percent sign. So 0.25 is equal to 25%. How do we write two thirds as a percentage? First, we'll convert the fraction to its decimal form by dividing the numerator by the denominator. Using a calculator will show us that two thirds equals 0.66 repeating. Now that we have a decimal, we can convert it to a percentage the same way as before. Move the decimal point twice to the right and round as needed. Now we see that 2 thirds is approximately equal to 66.67%. To convert a percent to a fraction or decimal, remember that percent means one for every 100. Rewrite the given value as over 100 and simplify the fraction as much as possible. Let's look at some example conversions. What is 6% expressed as a fraction? Start by rewriting the percentage as six over 100. Then, divide both the numerator and denominator by 2 to simplify the fraction to 3 over 50. Now we found that 6% is equal to 3 50ths. Let's try another one. How can 24.3% be written in decimal form? Again, we start by rewriting the percentage as a fraction with a denominator of 100. In this case, we get 24.3 over 100. To divide by 100, move the decimal two places to the left. This gives us 0.243. That shows us that 24.3% is equal to 0.243. So remember, fractions, decimals, and percentages are just different ways of expressing the same information. In case you need to refer back to the rules later, here's a handy guide that reminds you how to convert from one form to another.